516 now as we wake up to a cold, fairly quiet uh, start to the day, at least in inland areas. Lakeshore communities still continuing with those lake effect snow showers. Here's a live view looking out of our Allendale, the GBS2 campus, where we got a little bit of a breeze this morning. Roads are snow covered and very slippery along the lakeshore. Downtown Kalamazoo, the campus of Western Michigan University, looking pretty tranquil this morning as well. What are we tracking for you? Well, unseasonably cold, and that's the pattern that continues through the end of this month and even extending into early February. Lake effect snow showers continuing mainly west of 131, and we'll have another batch of snow. Widespread snow arriving on Thursday, followed by at least partial sunshine returning for Friday and Saturday. Temperatures today, well, we'll make it only into about uh, the upper teens to near 20 degrees, so it'll be colder than yesterday. Yesterday's highs topped out at 24 degrees in Grand Rapids, 27 in Kalamazoo, so several degrees colder than average, and today will be even colder. In fact, to look at the high temperature trend right through the middle of next week. Oh, looking at uh, not even a single 30 degree high temperature in sight for us. So yeah, that cold air does continue to stream in. We do have that uh, winter weather advisory still in effect along the Lakeshore counties and then across the northwest corner of lower Michigan. And that's where we'll see the potential for several more inches of lake effect snow to create some travel challenges. So if you do be happen to be traveling in that area, keep in mind that you will likely have some slowdowns. Otherwise, looking at temperatures in the teens this morning, feels like readings in the single digits. And as we look at storm track live, You'll see those isolated snow showers across the region still contending, this, contending with those this morning. This area of low pressure will continue to move away from us. And as it does, high pressure finally will be building in from the west. And what that will do is it will finally cut off those uh, snow showers from coming in. The air will become more uh, stable and drier. And that will allow conditions to uh, at least finally dry out at all levels of the atmosphere, at least temporarily. So high pressure building in that'll bring us at least partial sunshine tonight and in, uh, today into overnight tonight, uh, partly cloudy skies. And then during the day tomorrow, we'll see the next clipper system start to move in from the west. Overall, Thursday into Thursday afternoon, we'll see that widespread snow beginning to develop once again with high temperatures in the upper 20s. So just a few degrees warmer as the next clipper system comes in, still colder than average. Partly cloudy skies for Friday, a little more cloud cover on Saturday, but still dry at least the first half of the weekend. And more snow on Sunday, and you can see temperatures back into the mid to upper 20s by Monday and Tuesday of next week. So cold air out there this morning, snow showers near the lakeshore, Tom. Is that creating any issues for drivers? Uh, yeah, right now it is, and the lakeshore is where we're going to be watching closely this morning. That is the area uh, that you will see the uh, most difficult conditions to travel in. We have a crash right now in Holland along the southbound lanes of US 31. This crash is at 32nd Street, causing a little bit of slowdowns, and you can see kind of slowdowns periodically up and down uh, US 31. Uh, so use caution and also not a bad idea, especially in the Holland, Grand Haven areas. Be giving yourself extra time this morning as you head out the door. Uh, right now in the Grand Rapids area, we have a crash along Kalamazoo at 52nd Street, causing a little bit of a slowdown there along 52nd Street. And then we are also working with a crash right now along 68th Street and Patterson. So uh, not a bad idea to be giving yourself a few extra minutes out there. We're picking up a number of crashes pretty early this morning. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Teresa Donovan.